There we are! Day four! I'm gonna check the weather. Weather report. Guess for tomorrow it's gonna be clear and sunny. Okay, that's minorly annoying. I like it when it's... We can't harvest these today. Um, yeah. I, I, I want to note right now for those coming off of day three. I decided to do these in bulks of four. Um, just made more sense to do them in groups of four than doing them uh, three at a time. Partially, I just don't want to stop playing the game. Uh, <laughs> that is quite the uh, problem to have. Stardew Valley is an amazingly fun game. And I... I couldn't even tell you why. It just is. We're gonna come around. We're gonna just kind of stop these plants from growing. Well, plants, trees. Because I, I, I really don't want them growing. I'm also gonna clear away these stones and this bit of grass here. And we're gonna step inside, put these away. I would very much like to get enough money for the backpack upgrade so after we voice crack after we make a trip to the museum which opens at nine hey, there's a woodpecker there he goes yeah after uh, we make a trip to the museum I'm going to probably uh, just make a little trip up through here as well just to see, because stuff, forgeable stuff can be up in here, so. It's nice to take a peek around. Plus, I mean, we need to kill a little time. Yeah, after that, I am going to basically, this today will be a fishing day. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to check that one. Or this one, I don't think. Oh, got that one, soggy newspaper. Garbage. Right? Museum. Brain. Fishing is fun, but museum. And yeah, we're going to be fishing on the beach. That way I can just sell the fish right there and I don't need to be constantly running back to our box. Because that gets annoying. Donate to the museum. Rusty spur. Well, that seems pretty dwarvish. Let's put that right there. I mean, dwarves were cowboys, right? I like to think dwarves were cowboys. I mean, they probably at least owned horses. Because, I mean, need to pull rocks somehow. Before trains. Hey, there's some forging stuff. And there's clay. It's pretty much useless. So our first clam! I'm not going to hang on to this. It is useful to hang on to one, but I want inventory space, and I believe we can sell them with Fisherman Dude. Yes, we can. And they sell for 50. So it's a bit of money. And as I mentioned, today is just going to be a fishing day. So I, I will take this moment to basically say I hope you're all enjoying the series so far. Um, I will be open to taking suggestions on what I should build on the farm and basically what we should be farming. Some things I will take some initiative on and just do on my own, but I, I would be very, very, very happy if people would suggest things they would like to see built or um, done with the farm. We don't have the most amount of space because it is a fishing farm, but I honestly feel that will add to it. We will basically get to build paths to bridges. I like doing that. Hey, a hell of it. Those sell for a fair chunk. Like 24 of those, and that's a backpack upgrade. Uh, a thing to note, the fish do change on the season, and it is important to catch fish from every season. Once again, for a reason, we'll be getting into more later. Just know it is important. An anchovy. We will also be checking for spring onions today. I just 
didn't feel like doing it before we went fishing. It makes a better thing to do as you're rounding down your day. And as you might guess from the name, they're only there in the spring. This game does have seasons as much as it does have shorter months than reality. Um, I believe each month has 28 days, where real months generally have 31. Is it 28? Something like that. Plus there's, you know, four seasons and 12 months in reality. And this, there's four seasons and four months. So, you know. If we end up getting a chest, I'm just going to throw away the soggy newspaper. Or possibly the clay. The clay, I think, will fetch us some money, so I, I think I'll just get rid of the soggy newspaper, which will not get us anything. I think it... I, no, it costs zero. Yeah, it sells for zero. I was to say, I think it takes away money, but no, it just sells for zero. And much like with Animal Crossing, I do enjoy just fishing. Um... It's something I, I enjoyed even doing in real life, but I'm kind of afraid of water now after nearly drowning, as you would. Um, there's a little chunk of money. Back to fishing. Yeah, I, 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 I know this isn't as you know personal as uh, Animal Crossing is, but I figure I may as well tell this story, because I think I've already told it before. But, um, the reason I'm more or less terrified of water and basically aquaphobic is, um, back when I was younger and lived in Digby, I had a neighbor who was really interested in helping me learn how to swim. Now, they took me, someone who has only successfully sunk, even with wearing a life jacket on, in the past, to the ocean to teach them how to swim without a life jacket. And general advice was, just float! But how? How do I float? How do I do this? Help! As I, I sank. And yeah. I was under the water for what felt like a minute, two minutes. I don't think it was anywhere near that long as I kind of reached bottom and just kind of basically crawled along the bottom of, you know, the, the sand back to the beach. And that, that was it. I could not... No more. <laughs> I cannot float. It's just something I can't do. If the monster from IT tries to tell you I float, he's lying. Uh, <laughs> go, another fish. We're catching a lot of herring. I also want to note, seaweed. Its recovery is about the equivalent of catching one fish. So for every seaweed you eat, you'll get about one more fish. Which is kind of why I like seaweed, and why I keep it over algae, where I do a lot of ocean fishing. It can help round out, basically, my energy for the day. So I can catch a few more fish and make a little more money than I would have just selling the seaweed. You can also just do the same thing with um, algae, but... Honestly, as I mentioned, I prefer the seaweed because ocean fish sell for more than river or lake fish. Which is where you'll get algae is from rivers and lakes. So... I'm honestly a little surprised the game has been this nice. There are some incredibly difficult to catch fish. Hey, we can now buy a better fishing rod. It uses bait. That means our fishing level has gone up. So we are going to wait to buy that. We have more important things to get. But this is something to keep in mind that soon we will be able to get the fiberglass fishing rod. And if you ever want to see what your skill levels are at, you just come to here. Oh, we're still at two. Wait, no, we were at one before, so. Yeah, we're at two now. It'll tell us we're at two at the end of the day. 
you know, as combat is in there, that is something I've been kind of alluding to for a while. Um, that is something that will open up to us later. If you are on, if you have a monster-ridden farm, you can already start training your combat just by chilling around outside after, I believe it's 9 p.m. Monsters will start appearing in your farm. I don't think they're, they'll do anything to your crops, but it's something to keep in mind. get more fish. There's really not a lot I can talk about while doing just a day of fishing, so I'll probably end up just working in more of the stories that you Animal Crossing fans are probably used to hearing from me. Um, because, well, there's really not a whole lot else to talk about. The fishing store will be closing in about 30 minutes, so... I think after this next catch, I'm just gonna sell what I've got. Instead of risking more, or well, trying to get more. And then I'm going to fill up my inventory and then uh, just head up to the house again. Oh, where's the... My, my cursor has vanished. I don't know why it vanished, but there we go. <laughs> that was weird. Right, I was going to fill up my inventory first. Also, I'm just going to trash this soggy newspaper. It's worthless. And I'm going to eat the seaweed. Thirteen, thirteen, and... Thirteen. Right there, you can see why the store closed. And Oh, I'm in his fishing spot. He'll get kind of annoyed if you stand there. <laughs> so you'll note we've basically almost doubled our money today. So. And that's with the bamboo rod, which as you might guess is, well, the worst. Um, the fiberglass rod with its bait will actually have a higher rate of which fish will bite, as well as the rod itself making it easier to catch fish. There is also another step above that which uses a, uh, a, a spinner as well. I, I, I don't know exactly what they're called. I just call them spinners. The extra things you attach to your line to make fish more likely to bite usually. These have extra effects. Some of them increase... Well, and I'll go over them when the time comes. We're nowhere near that point yet. There we go. Another fish. I'm honestly hoping for a little more seaweed. Though the seaweed does more or less just pay for itself, where it uses the same amount of energy to catch it. So... He will also never catch anything standing there, I don't think, anyway. I've, I've fished down here a lot, and he's never caught anything. His idle animation there will also continue to play, unlike his walking animation. Like, if he's walking while you're fishing, as you noticed, he just stops because time stops. So. I don't think I'm going to manage to fill out my inventory. So we are getting incredibly low on energy. I think I'll catch one more fish, then I'm going to go check the saloon, and then I'm going to go gather up the spring onions. Well, that's seaweed. I'm just going to eat it. Eat the seaweed. I kind of like seaweed slash dolts. It's pretty good. It's just kind of salty. It was a big thing in the town I grew up in. That being uh, Digby. Thing, and it's a fishing town. What do you expect? 
Uh, <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of people, you know, doing fishing type stuff. Okay, still no one here. I could swear the pharmacist dude comes here occasionally. Hoping to catch him there. I can check that rubbish bin. I've already checked that one. I'm gonna try and check the other two on the way to collecting the spring onions. I probably shouldn't because, well, there's a good chance we might get three different types of spring onion. Yeah, if we get more than one type of spring onion, we're not going to be having a good time. I'll just get the axe out, I guess. Though, I mean, I could always just throw away the broken glasses as well, because they don't give you anything. They are, they do do something, but we don't have the ability to do that something yet. Oh, are there no spring onions today? I don't see any. Yeah, no spring onions today. Well, good thing I didn't try to come here earlier. Fair enough. May as well take a short peek around, see if there's any other forgeable goods. I don't see any. Yeah, okay. Well, looks like we may as well just head up to the house. Throw this fish into our box, slash bin. This grass is getting annoying. I can't pick up that rock, so it'll just sit there and despawn. I mean, I probably should have thrown away the glasses, but I'm lazy. Expect me to throw things away. Um, I'm gonna sell the maple seed. We don't really need that many maple seeds. We can get more just by cutting down a tree. So... Fiber is actually useful for something I want to make at some point soon, so... Now, let's just hit the hay. Fishing level two. We can now craft bait. And we got 207 from the fish we put away. As you might note, this doesn't count the money you make via um, selling directly to the merchants, which is why I oftentimes will prefer to drop stuff in my box rather than sell to the merchants. That way I can actually see how much money I've made during the day. But with that, I thank you all very much for watching, and I hope to see you again next time as we move into Day 5 of Spring. See you all then.